Welcome to Home Cinema and Tech Review. This is another guide and tutorial video and the concept is how useful a projector can be even if you have a TV. So in this setup we have Epson LS300 with 30 watts of RMS speakers. The reason behind it we have sound by Yamaha logo on it and 30 watts of RMS true powerful speakers. And what the many of the entry-level or mid-level TVs are lacking is the base. If you have a G-series OLED LG models, they have 60 watts of RMS power with a quite a bit of tin space. So it's amazing to see that amount of sound coming from that sort of tin TV. But if you don't have the premium TVs, so you might be lacking a little bit of the base and the depth of the speaker from your TV. So in this video, we're with, we are going to witness the LG QNET 81 series 65 inch TV. This is a 2023, 2024, kind of like a new TV and it's 120 Hertz for gaming, 4K and lots of stuff. I'm going to review this later on, but I'm going to connect this to Epson in the speaker mode. So let's start to listen to the TV, but don't focus on the sound amount because camera is set up to the auto mode. It will gain and lower the, you know, amount of volume, but focus on the depth of the bass. So try to add your earbuds or headphones to understand the quality of the bass and depth of the bass, because I made extra tutorial for you to understand just by adding a single active subwoofer, you can change the setup of your TV with a single cheap second-hand active subwoofer. You can go back, check that video. Let's start to TV. Okay, we heard the TV and what I'm going to do is simple. I'm going to hit the button of the projector and it will start to run up. But the thing that I'm going to do is just show you how it works. I'm going to open up the VividStorm ALR and it's going to become like a TV. We already seen this in the channel if you haven't uh, watched my other videos. Right now the projector is in echo mode. What I'm going to do is hit just the Bluetooth button here on the remote control, when I hit this button, it will says Bluetooth speaker mode is on. So I can close this probably. I'm not uh, on this sort of stuff a lot, but let's start from the settings button of the TV. And this is a Turkish menu right now. So we got sound output, TV speakers, optical, optic and uh, another device and Bluetooth. Right now I'm looking for Bluetooth device lists. 
and it will check. So it's in the Bluetooth speaker mode right now. I can use it, pair it with my smartphone too. I, I got Epson LS300 and I have showed already Soundcore, uh, Anker, Rave series, Partycast, Bluetooth speakers. They are portable. You can bring them anywhere. So the Epson is here. I'm going to hit the Epson and hit connect. Let's start from here. Open up the projector then. So again, again, let's try. Hit the Bluetooth button. So let's check again. This sort of stuff, you have to do it once and then don't have to do it again. Let's see what happens. Bluetooth mode is right now on. So that means I can stop it here. Okay, I can go back and say connect again to the Epson. Stop the screen here and okay. Let's just delete this device. It happens many times and try to find it. As you can see, it finds my Osmo Pocket and LS300. It just found it. Sometimes these things can happen. So I just delete it. And again, right now I have probably a question from, you know, TV to projector. Let's just check. Yes, it says LG is about to connect. We can say a pair. Okay. I hit the pair. And right now, yes, it's, it's there. So let's close the, the, close the screen and continue with the TV. So setup doesn't take too much of a time. Once you're paired, it's going to automatically on the Bluetooth mode, it will connect. This was the first or the second time that I did this thing for you guys. So is it connected? Yes, it's now, it says connected, Turkish. So, okay, I'm going to play the audio again. Listen to this. Don't focus on the sound, amount, focus on the depth of the bass. overall test for you so there is not going to be a huge difference on the base compared to this TV this is an expensive kind of like a let's just say not extremely expensive but at the top of the mid-range level of TVs these days so 
it's not ideal to compare with a 30 watts of RMS uh, you know projector as a soundbar but if you don't have a proper TV setup and even if you have a good TV like this decent TV at least like this maybe if you have an LG C1 series OLED ones they don't have the base of the G series C series doesn't have the power output of the G series most of the time so what you're going to have if you go this road like many of the long throw or ultra short throw projectors have sound bar, uh, sound bar or speaker Bluetooth speaker mode so you can listen music in, in an environment like you can use them as Bluetooth speakers and we I, I probably show that in the channel with the Wombo Mozart one that one has 16 watts of RMS speakers if I remember them correctly so you can use uh, even with the um, enter to mid-level LED small projectors but if you have 4k let's just say Vivsonic uh, I remember the model is X10 uh, that has Harman Kardon speakers if I remember correctly so a couple of the models from Optoma as also ultra short throws like 50 to 60 watt RMS speakers so you can't really beat them up with any sort of TV if you don't have the premium up top level of TVs. So what this setup will help you to get better bass, better depth on the sound. And believe me, you might not be understanding the same feeling that I got in the same room, but the vibration around the equipment and the bass is coming through you because the Epson has two bass holes beneath and the casing is large. Like, look at this, this device has kind of like a depth so if I can show it to you by going a little lower this device has true depth like a thickness so this depth give you a better base base uh, channels need like a casing and depth for you to feel the vibration so they need to push air I made a dedicated video about how you can improve your home cinema setup just using one active subwoofer and you can purchase them in second hand maybe $50 to $60 because many of the people if they go to the soundbar setups they push away their old style you know active subwoofers because you need a space for active sub but if you buy one active sub you can change the way that you use your TV and I made a dedicated video just go you can go back how cheap you can with one speaker increase the TV experience and cinema experience in a huge way you can use it with the projectors too without even a Bluetooth you just put the sub the place that you want and connect to it to a projector or a TV just with a cable it could be optical cable or it could be analog cable it's up to your of course uh, the active sub too but in this video I just want to show you if you go to a route of you know mid-level of TV and mid-level of projector setup you can use your projector both ways like cinema in the weekends or whatever you want whenever you want but you can use your also projector as a speaker so you got many functions so like just like my last video you don't have to put all your budget into a big TV like a 100 inch 98 inch and above TVs are probably four times more expensive than the projector and the TV at least two times expensive than projector TV and ALR screen setup so this way you're going to have two different devices two different experiences like a cabriolet car regular car sports car regular car so you get best of both worlds or SUV or truck and a regular daily car so you get best of both worlds in this option don't uh, get me wrong I'm not saying projectors beats TVs or TVs beats projectors because they are getting cheaper no they have both advantages and disadvantages in this video just want to show you something extra I hope you learned something and if you learn anything just hit sub, uh, thumbs up and subscribe if you can and comments are very important for YouTube to this channel to grow and I hope to see you in the next video bye from home cinema and tech review